Cassie Young. Welcome to my channel. Now you are ready to use your left hand. Keep your left wrist in the natural position. Don't raise your elbow like this. Your fingers should be curved and relaxed. Your palm should be facing downwards. Don't face it towards your body. Use your fingertip to press the both strings at the same time. Press the strings firmly, but make sure not to bend the string. Between each note, there is a certain distance between the finger. Let's look at the diagram. The notes on the strings begin below the Qianjin. If the piece is in D key, in Erhu notation, the number one is D, or one equal D. It is open string on D string. Number two is E. Number three is F sharp. Number four is G. Then we change from D to A string. Number five is A. It is open string on A string. Number six is B. Number one like letter I. To indicate an active higher, a dot is placed above the number, which means the high octave of one. Please pay attention. The note three, four, or seven, one. A notes that are positioned closely together, as they are each a half tone apart. There is no any space between fingers, but close together, like this. All right, I will demonstrate D key scale. If the piece in the G key, in Erhu notation, the number five with dot equal D, it is open string in G string. Number six with dot equal E. Number seven with dot equal F sharp. Number one equal G. Then we change from D to A string. Number two equal A. It is open string on A string. Number three equal B. Number four equal C. Number five equal D. To indicate an active lower, a dot is placed below the number, which means the low octave of five, six, and seven.
lesson tips. Your finger, hand, wrist, and arm always be relaxed. Different distance between fingers. I strongly recommend you to use a tuner to help and ensure the intonation when you practice. You can also click on my another video. Practice our hu with me. Okay, are you ready to learn next lesson? Come subscribe me. See you there.